Yo, 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 salutations, <laughs> okay, all right, what's up, y'all, so, um, a sub two deal fell in my lap yesterday, and it took me about 30 minutes worth of effort, so my dad obviously knows what I'm doing, I'm in wholesale, um, and he knows that I'm in real estate. He doesn't really understand everything, but he knows what I'm doing. So uh, my stepmom's cousin, my dad is real close with, and they talk all the time. Well, they were talking, and my dad found out that he was $18,000 behind on his mortgage. There was no way for him to catch up, and he just kind of wants to get out of the situation and move to New Hampshire. Now, his house is in Massachusetts. I don't know anybody in, Mass in the Massachusetts area. I don't know anything about wholesaling in Massachusetts, but he brought it to me and was like, hey, you know, he's 18K behind. I know you deal with foreclosures, so just see what you can do. So, like, okay, let me, let me give me give me his number. I've talked to him before, but I said, you know, give me his number and I'll reach out to him. So I reached out to him. I was like, hey, you know, kind of asked the question, like, what do you want to do? He was talking to me about New Hampshire. He's talking to me about his mortgage. I had him send me his mortgage statement. I kind of went over it and was like, yeah, so here, here's what we can do. You can either listen on the market, which what he, he was planning on doing originally, but the realtor that he works with suggested that he needs to put five to $10,000 into the house to get maximum price. And he doesn't have that money to do so. So he was kind of like, I don't, I don't want to go that route. Well, I was like, you know, I'll call you tomorrow evening. Let me look into this. Let me contact a few people and see see if, you know, I can present any options to you that may make sense. So, guys, like I said earlier, I don't wholesale in Massachusetts. I know absolutely nobody in Massachusetts who does anything uh, related to real estate. So I went on the Creative Finance with Pace Morby group chat. It's a free group chat. I highly suggest anybody who does anything with real estate, join that group chat. It's phenomenal. I went to the search bar and I just typed the word Massachusetts so that it would filter the whole group. So only conversations pertaining to Massachusetts would pull up. So I'm scrolling, 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 and I see somebody marketing a deal in Massachusetts. So I'm like, okay, well, let me check the comments because that's usually where the buyers are. So I checked the comments and somebody commented at so-and-so's name is the sub two master in the state of Massachusetts. So I was like, yeah, that's the person I need to contact, the person that they added because they're the sub two master in Massachusetts. So I sent him a message basically saying who I am, what I do, and kind of the situation that my, uh, my I'm just going to call my family member that my family member is in. So is there any way that you could take a look at it? He responded back in like 0.2 seconds with his number and said, yeah, give me a call. So <laughs> I gave him a call. We were talking for like 30 minutes about any and everything. And he actually lives 20 minutes away from this subject house. And he wants to go see it. He, he wants to buy the house. Now, the way that he's willing to buy it is subject to or he would do a novation agreement. Now, nova I don't know if you guys know what a novation agreement is. Very short and sweet without getting into the weeds. A novation agreement is basically where you come in, rehab somebody's house without buying it. You just rehab their house and then you list it for them on the market. So if you have a house and your house needs 30K in work, I would come in, put that 30K in, in of my own money into that house to rehab it. And then I want my 30K plus, let's say I want a 15K spread on top of that. So I want $45,000 when this house sells. Well, the house sells for whatever price it sells for. I get my 45K and the homeowner gets everything else. Does that make sense? Did I explain that right? That is all a novation agreement is short, sweet, and simple. You come in, you rehab the house, you list it for the owner, and then you get your your money back that you put into the house plus the spread that you want by rehabbing their house. So he threw out those two options. I'm like, those those two options would work fantastically for him. If it was a sub two, 
he his credit is shot. So it's so like doing sub so two would allow a performing mortgage to get caught up and worked on on his credit. So it would help out his credit while he rented for a year before he could go and apply for a new loan and get a new place to live in New Hampshire where he wants to be. So that that's a win win situation. Or if they did the novation agreement the novation agreement, he wouldn't have to come out of pocket for that house. The only problem with the novation agreement in this situation is that he would have to move out the house while the house got rehabbed. And he wouldn't have any money to move because he wouldn't obviously get money until that house sells. So that's the only problem with that one. But if, you know, the this guy, his name is Mike, if Mike can make a situation where that novation agreement worked for him, then it'll make sense. So again, this this kind of sub to novation agreement just fell in my lap because my dad threw out like, hey, you know, this guy might do it. And I told my dad, I'm like, hey, if I close on this, I'll shoot you a finder's field just for throwing it my way. You know, he obviously doesn't want any money, but he's going to get some if I close on it. So me and Mike, we talked about, hey, what do you want? Um, so if we do a sub two transaction, I would just do a natural assignment agreement. If we did a Novation, I would be in the paperwork as a JV partner with Mike, who ends up buying the house. I would I would do it with him. So it, it was just a win-win situation. In 30 minutes, I walked into a sub tool to or novation agreement deal, and I made good friends with the sub two master in the state of Massachusetts. Now all of my family lives there. So when a situation comes up with any of my family members in that in Massachusetts, I know exactly who to go to because we built that relationship. I'm also going to Massachusetts very soon uh, for my little brother's graduation. He's graduating college. Shout out to him. I'm going to you know, go out to lunch with this guy and, and meet him face to face. So I'm really excited about that. That's just kind of how this whole situation just fell into my lap without me doing much of anything. I just made a few phone calls and I found my buyer the very first person I talked to on Facebook. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, oh, don't find buyers on Facebook. I've heard buyers that I've dealt with that I actually found through Facebook tell me, you know, find two or three buyers and then don't blast your deal out anymore. Just send it to them. And I, that's a good plan because with my last deal in Memphis, I had a buyer who I've worked with in the past. And I got this deal. I literally sent him a text and he was like, yeah, I'll buy that deal. I didn't have to blast it on Facebook. I didn't have to field a bunch of random people hitting me up. I didn't have to deal with other wholesalers trying to get a piece of the deal. I just went directly to them. So that that was kind of good advice that I got from a buyer one time. Just a win-win for everybody. It really is. And I'm excited to see kind of where, where this deal goes, what happens with it. I'm, I'm kind of on the sideline looking in and I'm watching how uh, this process gets done. How you can basically take a property like that, go through the sub two paperwork, or I've never been a part of a novation before. If they did a novation, I would be sitting on the sideline taking notes because I've never dealt with a novation. I've only heard about it on YouTube. I've never done it myself. So it'd be really cool to sit there and see how it how it works and be a partner of a novation agreement. So that that would really that would really be beneficial to me if that were to happen. But guys, uh, that's the story and that's how everything works. That's what happened, how a sub two opportunity fell into my lap. And I'm gonna holler at y'all later, man. Thank you.